Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com. Hey, we're looking at micro strategy um, today. I sure wish I owned more of this. I own a little bit, but um, not enough to make this actually even a freaking fun video to do. Uh, I don't get to do any, uh, I told you so, or yippee, look at me. Um, anyway, uh, but I hope you're in a different boat though. Uh, so I just have a little bit. Uh, but here's the thing. This thing just keeps going and going and going. Now, I was in our um, training session that Scott McGregor, our crypto market mentor, uh, holds on Wednesdays. And he, we were talking today about this. And he was telling me, I was just saying how uh, Saylor, Michael Saylor, the guy, uh, the CEO of, of uh, MicroStrategy, uh, is amazing how this guy just continues to buy more and more Bitcoin. And he has said that he doesn't plan on selling any of it. Like they're just, just buying it, uh, no selling. And so Scott kind of had an interesting take on that. And uh, cause he knows a little bit more, a lot more about this than I do. But he said that uh, a while ago, Saylor actually had an interview and he did an interview on this and he said, look, our underlying business, you know, we're not growing. Uh, we're in the in the software business and we're really not growing. And by the way, if we look at the fundamentals, which I did today during the class, uh, if you look at the fundamentals, you'll see that he's absolutely uh, telling the truth. Not that he would have any reason to lie. He's not a politician. Um, and uh, so anyway, he was uh, saying how they're just not growing. And you look, their revenues are, are flat. Their earnings are shoddy, if any at all. And so he said, what we're doing, we got a lot of money and I'm just buying Bitcoin because it's the best place I can put my money. And then what are you going to do? Well, I'll buy more. And what about after that? Well, maybe uh, what I'll wind up doing is if I need more, I'll issue some debt and then buy more. So the guy basically is using the company and using the company's stock as leverage to go out and buy more Bitcoin. And sure enough, today, after hours, they announced that they, a proposed private offering of 500 million bucks in convertible senior notes. So they're taking on more debt that way. And what do you think they're gonna do with that money? Well, they're going to buy more Bitcoin. So what happens after the news today? Um, stock trades down like for crying out loud, almost a hundred bucks, I think at, at one point from top to bottom. Uh, and then ultimately though, it winds up kind of flat, just down a little bit from where it was at the close. And so this is the kind of volatility that's in the stock. It's a very, very tough one um, to hold. If you've got any kind of discipline. Now, if you're a total gambler, oh my God, you're having a blast with this thing. Just buy it and hang on till it bucks you off. But when it gets right down to it, this is an extremely risky trade to be in. It's, it's a massively risky trade to be in. So what am I telling you to do? Well, I'm not telling you to do anything. Do whatever you want. But this is what I'm suggesting. If you think that, if you think that Bitcoin is, is crap coin and this whole crypto thing is uh, tulips and all that, then you definitely don't want micro strategy either. On the other hand, if you really kind of get the sense that maybe there's a sea change um, going on in, uh, in Bitcoin, I, I can't speak to the rest of the whole cryptocurrency thing. I do distinguish between something where there's actually ETFs to trade um, versus the rest of the crypto world. But if you think that this is going higher, as I do, if you think that's going higher, then I think as stupid as this sounds, <laughs> I think you can still buy this stock. You just have to have some kind of discipline with respect to how much you're going to buy. And it's not that you'd be concerned that the stock's going to tank and go down to a thousand bucks. No, it's more like what's going to happen to your brain if the stock does pull back, if, if you get one of these from top to bottom, a $275 move in a day, is, is that going to 
cause your whole brain to go on tilt because that's the kind of move that this thing has. It's, it's a very, very volatile stock. So um, my suggestion would be if this is for you, if you want to ride the lightning, then what I'd suggest doing is using the eight day EMA as a reference, because it the last time it's been down there was clear back here. And so then you're buying the stock here, you're going down and you're looking, okay, uh, exponential moving average is 337 bucks below where I'm buying this now. It's 19%. So I'm really going to have to give this stock like 20%. I'm going to have to put a stop over 20% from where I bought this. Now, that seems like a pretty wide stop, and it is. But in just one day, the stock went up over 10%. So the question is, is it really a wide stop? And my answer is not for micro strategy. What you have to do on that is you have to manage your risk by your position size and what your expectation is if the stock moves freaking two or 300 bucks in a day, what are you gonna do? Get that planned out in advance because if you don't, then whatever you do find yourself doing is probably gonna be the wrong thing. Okay, that's all I got for you. Uh, if you haven't tried Stock Market Mentor, give us a shot, baby. 14 days, it's on the house.